Hi guys, today we are going to see how you can create a tours and travels website. Let's say you have a tours and travels company and you want to create a website where anyone can book your tours right from your website. You can do that by watching this video. So after watching this video, you will be able to create a tours and travels website like this. Now if a visitor wants to go on a tour, they can select their destination here. Select the date they want. and the number of guests. Now if they click search, they can see the tour packages you have for that destination. So they can select the package, check out the images of the places they can visit and the description. Here they can see all the services you provide on the tour. Now if the visitor wants to see your tour plan, they can click here and check the plan for each day of the tour. Ok, now if the visitor is willing to take the tour, they can go ahead and select the meeting point they want and click book now. Now here, they can fill in their details and then click complete to book the tour. Ok, so once someone books a tour on your site, you will receive a mail in your inbox like this where you can check out the contact details of your customer. So now you can contact them to confirm their order and discuss their payment method. Now finally, we will see how you can customize your site to any style you want just by using drag and drop. Ok, so creating a tours and travels website can help you get more customers and you can also make it quick and easy for your customers to book your tours. Also, this will help you build and improve your brand image. So make sure you watch this video till the end to learn how to do it. Ok, so let's get started. Now this video is not sponsored but it is supported by those of you guys who have purchased our courses and our ready-made website templates in MakeAWP. You can learn more about it by clicking the links in the description. I'm Brian for Website Learners and let's start making our tours and travels website. We are going to make our tours and travels website in just 4 parts. The first part is to launch your website. This is the place where you get your new website live on the internet. Now we are going to launch a site using MakeAWP. MakeAWP is a platform designed by website learners where anyone can launch their dream website in just one click. So instead of spending hours and hours setting up your website and getting it work the way you want, you can simply launch the ready-made website which is designed by us. Every template is built with WordPress and has all the essentials installed and ready to go. You can launch this site, add your content and branding and you're good to go. You can put your website into action in no time. So to launch your website, just click the link below this video and it will take you to makeawp.com where you will find the tours and travels website. Now to see how this site looks, just click demo and here you can see the complete tours and travels website which we are going to use. Now if you click tours, You can see the tour packages that we have on this site. And if you click on the tour package, you can see the details of the tour package. Ok, now to get this tours and travels website, just click launch site. Then enter your details. and click next. Now enter your card details and click sign up now. So now we have successfully purchased the template. So to launch our site, now click launch new site and it will take you to this page. Now here, enter the website name that you want. I am going to enter tips for today. Now your website address will be tripsfortoday.makeawp.com. This is the address which people will have to visit to reach your site. As you can see, our tours and travels website has already been selected. Once you've entered your URL, let's click launch new site. And as you can see, our brand new website has been launched successfully. So if we click visit, you can see that we have got the exact site that we saw. On the website name we selected. And if we click tours, 
you can see the sample 2 packages which we have on our site. Now this is just a temporary link to your site and you can easily change this to your own .com domain which we'll see later in this video. Ok, once you've launched your website, we can go to part 2 of this tutorial where we see how you can add a tour package on your site. So to add our tour package, we are going to do 3 steps. The first step is to log into your website. So to log into our site, just go back to make a WP. Now click admin. And as you can see, we have successfully logged into our site. This is the place where you can control your entire website. Now once you've logged in, we can now go to step 2 which is to delete the sample 2 packages on our site. So to delete them, just go here and click all tools. And here you will find the sample 2 packages that we have on our site. So to delete them, just click here to select all the tool packages. Then click here and select move to trash. Now if we click apply, you can see that all the sample tool packages have been deleted. Now if we go back to our site and click refresh, you can see that we have deleted the sample tour packages. So once you've deleted the sample tour packages, next let's go to step 3 which is to add your tour package. So to add your tour package, just go back to your dashboard. Now click add tour and it will take you to this page where we can create our own tour package. Now here you need to enter the details of your tour package. Here enter the name of your package. And here, enter a few things about your tour package. Now if you want this tour package to be available for a certain number of days, just scroll down, click here and select the date from which the tour package will be available. Then click here and select the date your package ends. Now this is the tour package which will be available on your site only during these days and it will be automatically disabled after this date. Once you're done, scroll down, now enter the minimum age of the guests who can book this tour package. And here, enter the maximum number of guests allowed for this package. I'm going to enter 2, then scroll down. Now if you want visitors to choose when they want to start their journey, you can do that by adding a schedule to your tour package. So to add that, just click here and choose the number of days you want. I am going to choose 7 days. Now to enter the timings for this schedule, click here and choose your time. Then click add time to schedule. Now if you want to add another timing for the same day, just click here and choose your time. Now click add time to schedule and you can see that the timings have been added for that day. In the same way, you can choose the timings for other days. Once you're done, click save schedule, scroll down and enter the address of the tour location. Once you've entered the address, scroll down and here you can enter a pricing plan for your tour package. So to do that, just click here. Now enter the name for your pricing plan. And here you can enter different ticket prices for each age group. I'm going to enter my prices. Then here, enter the general ticket price of your tour package. And click save rate. Now scroll up. And here you can select the type of tour for your package. Or if you want to add a new tour type, just click add new tour type and enter the name of your tour type. I'm going to enter island. Now click add new tour type and it will be added to your package. Once you're done, now let's add a featured image to your tour package which will be the first image seen by your visitors. Just scroll down and click set featured image. Now open the folder you want, then drag and drop the image from your computer. 
Now click set feature image and it will be added to your tour package. Once you've entered the details of your tour package, just scroll up and click publish. So now we have successfully created a tour package on our site. Now if we go to our site and click refresh, you can see that we have got the tour package which we created now. And if you click on it, you can see that we have got the details of our tour package. Now let's see how you can add cover images in a slider like this. To do that, let's go back to our dashboard. Then scroll down and click add or upload file. Now open the folder you want, then drag your image and drop it here. Now click use this file and you can see that the image has been added. Now to add another image to your slider, just click add slideshow image. Now click add or upload file and like we did before, just drag and drop your image here. Click here and the image will be added. In the same way, you can add any number of images you want. Once you're done, scroll up and click update. So now if we go back to our site and click refresh, you can see that the cover images have been added to our tour package. Once you've added the slider images, now if we scroll down and click tour plan, there are no available plans for this tour package. Next, let's see how you can add a tour plan for your package. So to add our own tour plan, just go to your dashboard, then scroll down and you will find this description section where you can add your tour plan. Now to add it, here enter the title of your tour plan. Then enter the details of your plan. Now to add an image for your plan, just click here. Now open the folder you want, then drag the image and drop it here. Now click insert into page and the image will be added to your tour plan. Once you've added the tour plan, just scroll up, click update and the plan will be added. So now we successfully added a tour plan for our package. Now if we go back to this tab and click refresh, you can see that we have added the tour plan. Now if you want to add another tour plan, just go back to your dashboard, then scroll down to the description section and click add description. Like we did before, add these details. In the same way, you can add as many as you want. Once you're done, scroll up, click update and the two plans will be added to our site. Now if we go back to this tab and click refresh, you can see that we have added the tour plan. Okay. Once you've added the tour plan, next, let's see how you can add the features that are available in the tour package. So now if we click here, you will get this section. So to add the features, just go back to your dashboard. Now scroll down and you will find this section. Now to add the feature, go to the included section, then click here and enter that feature. Now to add more features, just click add included section and you will get a new section. Now here, enter the feature you want. In the same way, add as many as included features as you want. 
you can also add the features which you are not providing with the package. So to do that, just go to the excluded section, like we did before, enter the feature here. Now to add another feature, just click add excluded section and then add your feature here. Once you've added your features, scroll up and click update. Now if we go back to our site and click refresh, you can see that the included and excluded features have been added to our tour package. Now if you see here, our plan price is in dollars. Let's say you want to change it to a different currency. How will you do that? So to change the currency, let's go back to our dashboard, go to tool settings and then click BA settings. Now go to currency and here you can see that US dollars is selected. Now to change the currency, just click here and here you will find the currencies that are available. You can choose the currency you want and it will be changed on your site. So now you know how to create a tour package on your site and how to add your tour plan to it. Next, let's go to part 3 of this tutorial where we'll see how a visitor can book a tour on your site. Now let's say a visitor visits our site and wants to search for a tour package. They can use this widget to search for the tour package they want. Now if they click here, you can see that we still have the default tour locations on our site. Now we need to delete these default locations and add our locations. So to delete them, just go back to your dashboard. Now go to tools, then click destinations. And here you will find the default destinations that are available on our site. Now to delete them, just click this box. Then click here. Select delete. And click apply. And you can see that we have deleted all the default destinations. So if we go to our site and click refresh and then click here, you can see that the default destinations have been deleted on our site. Once you've deleted the default destinations, we can now add our own two destinations on our site. So to add them, let's go back to our dashboard and enter the name of the destination here. Now scroll down and click add new destination. Now if you scroll up, you can see that our destination has been added. In the same way, you can add multiple destinations on the site. Now in order for our visitors to find the tour package for this destination, we need to add this destination to our tour package. So to do that, go to all tours. Now go to your tour package and click edit. Now here you can see the tour which we added. So to add this destination to our tour package, just click on the box and then click update. So now the tour will be added to our tour package. So let's go back to our site and click refresh. Now if we click here, you can see that our new destination has been added here. So now the visitor can search for the tour package they want. Let's select the destination. And here they can choose the date for their journey. Then select the number of guests. And if they click search, they will get the tour package which we added earlier. Now if the visitor wants to view the tour package, they can click on it. And they will get the details about the tour package. And if they click tour plan, you can see the detailed plan of our tour. Now let's say you have arranged a meeting point for your guests from where you can meet up and start the journey. To add the meeting points, just go back to your dashboard. Now scroll down. Now here you will find the meeting point section. Now as you can see, there is no option to add a place. So to add a place for the meeting point, just go to places. 
click add place and it will take you to this page now here enter the name of the place and here enter the address of that place once you're done click publish and the place will be added now to add another place just click here and it will take you back to your dashboard now click add place and like we did before enter the name and the address of the place now click publish and the place will be added so once you've added the places we can now add them as meeting points for our tour package to do that just click here and it will take you back to your dashboard now go to tours and click all tours then go to your tour package and click edit now scroll down to the meeting point section and here you can see that the place we added has been automatically updated you can also choose a timing for the meeting point here now if you want to add another meeting point just click add meeting point and you can see that we have got a new section with the place we already updated now choose the timing okay once you're done just scroll up and click update now if we go back to the visitors tab and click refresh you can see that the meeting points have been added on our site so now the visitor can go ahead and purchase the tour package to do that first they need to select the number of guests then select a meeting point and if they click book now it will take them to the checkout page now here they can enter their contact details and then scroll down here the visitor can choose a payment option since there are no payment options available the visitor can choose this option and pay the amount later now if they click this box and click complete my order you can see that the order has been placed successfully and if they scroll down you can see the details of the visitor's order and the amount that needs to be paid now as soon as the order is placed an email with the order details will be sent to the visitor's inbox so to check it let's go to the visitor's inbox and here you can see that they have got an email from our site now if we open it you can see the details of the order and the amount to be paid so this is how your visitor can book a tour on your site once the visitor has booked the tour next let's see how you can process the order and manage the booking now when someone books a tour on your site you will get an email about the booking so let's go to our inbox and here you can see that we have received an email now if we open it you can see the details about the booking the visitor's contact details which you can use and confirm the booking and request the payment from the visitor once you receive the payment from your visitor you can now update the status of the order on your site so to update the status just go back to your dashboard now go to orders and then click all orders here you can see the order which we received on our site so to update the status just click edit then click here and select the status of your order since i have received the payment from my visitor i am going to select payment received once you're done click update now when you update the order status and if the tour package has reached a maximum number of guests it will automatically disable the booking option for that day so when another visitor tries to book the tour on the same day it will not be available for them so now you know how to add a tour package and manage bookings on your site now we can go to the final part of this video where we see which is to edit the contents of your site so to edit the contents of your site first let's go to the page which you want to edit since i want to edit the home page i'm going to that page then click edit with elementor and it will take you to this editing section where you can edit any part of this page so now let's say you want to change this text just select the text and then enter your own text in the same way 
you can change any text you want on this page. Now if you want to change this image, just click on that image. Then click here. And then drag and drop the image from your computer. Now click insert media. And you can see that the image has been changed. In the same way, you can change any image you want on this page. Once you've made all the changes, click update. And your changes will be saved. Now if we go back to our site and click refresh, you can see that the changes have been updated on our site. In the same way, you can edit any page you want. Just go to that page, then click edit with Elementor and you can start editing your content. Okay, now let's say you want to change this logo. Just click customize. Now click site identity. And here you can see the logo that we have on our site. So to change it, just click change logo. Then select the image. Now drag your logo and drop it here. Now click select. And you can see that the logo has been changed. Once you've changed the logo, click publish. Now if we go back to our site and click refresh, you can see that the logo has been updated on your site. Okay, now let's say you want your visitors to find your contact number easily. Now here you can see that we have a default contact number. Now instead of this, what if you want to add your own contact number here? So to change the contact number, just click edit with Elementor. Since the contact number is given in the header section, we are going to select the header builder option. So let's select it. And it will take you to this editing section. Now click here. And you will get these options. Now to change the contact number, just click this section. Then click this column. And select the icon list. And here you can change the contact number. So to change it, just click here. And remove the default number. Then enter your contact number. Now here, remove the default number. And again enter your contact number. Once you're done, click update. Now if we go back to our site and click refresh, you can see that we have changed the contact number on our site. So this is how you can edit the contents of your site. Okay, now here you can see that our website address ends with makeawp.com. Now instead of this, what if you want your website to have a simple address like tripsfortoday.com which looks more professional. You can do that by getting your own domain name for your website. So to get your own domain name, just go to the video you're watching right now and click the link in the description. And it'll take you to Webspace Kit where you can get a domain for your website. Now here, enter the name you want for your website. I'm going to enter tripsfortoday.com. Now if you click search, you can see that this domain name is available. Now to get this domain name for your website, just click add to cart and then click continue. Now it will ask you to select a hosting plan. As we already have a hosting for our site on MakeAWP, let's click skip and it will take you to this cart page. Now here you can see that we are getting our domain for one year and after one year, you need to renew your domain to keep using it. So to get this domain, let's fill up these details. Now choose your payment method. Then enter your payment details. And check this option. Now if we click order now, you can see that we have successfully made the payment. And if you click here, you can see that we have got the domain. Okay, so once you've got your domain, now how do you connect this domain with your website? So next, let's see how you can connect this domain with your website. So to connect this domain, we are going to do two steps. The first step is to add the domain to your website. So to add the domain, let's go to makeawp.com. Then go to domains. Now scroll down. And here, you need to enter the domain name which you purchased. So I'm going to enter tripsfortoday.com. Once you've entered your domain name, let's go to the final step, which is to add this IP address to your domain. So to add it, let's go to this tab. 
and then click on domains. Now select the domain which you purchased and then click manage DNS. Now click here and next to the A record we need to add an IP address which is shown here. So let's go back to this page and copy this IP address. Then come back to our domain and paste the IP address here. Once you're done, click save changes. Now to connect the domain, let's go back to make a WP and click connect domain. So now we've successfully connected our new domain name to our website. So to check it, let's open a new tab and type our new domain name which is tripsfortoday.com. Now if you press enter, you can see that we've successfully connected our domain name and we've got our tours and travels website which we just created. Now if we click tour, you can see the tour packages that we've added on our site. So now your visitors can just type your domain name and access your site quickly. So this is how you can get your domain name for your website. So now we have the complete tours and travel website. Now you can use this website without updating the theme as long as you want. But if you want to have the latest version of the theme for your website, you can purchase the theme and then update to the latest version. So to purchase the theme, just click the link below this video and it'll take you to this page. Now this is the theme which we are going to purchase for our site. So let's click add to cart. Then click go to checkout. And here it'll ask you to create an account. So to create the account, just enter your details and then click here. Next, fill up these details. Click save and continue and then enter your payment details. Once you're done, click pay securely. And as you can see, we have successfully made the payment and purchased the theme. Once you've got the theme, how will you know that you have got an update? Now in order to receive the latest updates for your theme, first you need to download and install a plugin called Envanto Market on your site. This plugin will help you receive the latest updates for your theme. So to download the plugin, just click the link below this video and it will take you to this page. Then click the download button and the plugin will be downloaded. Now to install this plugin, go to your dashboard, then go to plugins and click add new. Now click upload plugin, then drag and drop your plugin here and click install now. Now if you click activate, you can see that the plugin is now active on our site. Once you've installed the plugin, you will be able to check whether you've got any updates for your theme. So to check for updates, just click here and it will take you to this page. Now here it will ask you to enter this token to get the updates for your theme. So to get this token, just click this link and it will ask you to sign in to your account. Enter the email ID and password which you had used for purchasing the theme and click sign in. Now here it will ask you to create a token for your website. So just enter the name you want for your token. I am going to enter, then scroll down, check this box and click create token. So now we have successfully created a token for our site. Now to use this token and receive updates, just copy this token Go back to your dashboard and then paste it here. Now click save changes and you can see that we've got two options here. If you click themes, you can see the theme we purchased earlier and if you received any updates, you will get a notification like this. So to update your theme, all you have to do is just click on the notification and your theme will be updated to the latest version. Okay, so that's it guys. This is how you can make a tours and travels website using WordPress. Now if you're ready to make your own tours and travels website, just click the link below this video and it'll take you to the Make It WP page where you can launch a site and start building a tours and travels website.
And if you're interested to know how a WordPress website works behind the scenes, check out a WordPress course here. Also make sure you click the subscribe button to see more videos from us. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.